Hi guys! One of you guys requested to do a Burberry look for you, this, so this is what I came up with. A little bit of the messy hair, um, beigey, bronzy um, outfit, and then this really nice soft look. Uh, maybe it doesn't do it justice in this light, but um, if you keep on watching, I'm sure that you will get some new tricks out of it, or maybe just enjoy to watch this video. Ooh, also, I really am looking forward to watching your video, so please leave a video response and I will definitely watch it. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Bye! I'm going to mix the Laura Mercier one, which is in the color Vanilla Beige, which has a more yellow undertone, and then the MAC Studio Sculpt in NW15, which has a more pinkish undertone. My Hourglass foundation brush, and apply it in the center of my face, and then going outward. The makeup of the models is very, very subtle, but it's very sculpted. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Their eyebrows are really really dark so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and fix them a little bit so that they are bigger because they are very very straight. You just want to take your gel, first map out the inner part of your eyebrow um, starting from that point till the outside and then fill in the beginning of the eyebrow. That's the easiest actually. You do not really want this arch to be there so you're just gonna try and drag it as straight as possible. Like so. <laughs> eyebrow with that. Comb through very very light handed because otherwise this tends to also take away the product. Just accentuate that straight look even more putting some more on the outside corners. The paint pot in Quite Natural, this is from MAC and it's supposed to go on your eyes but I'm actually going to use this as a contouring cream so I'm gonna use this as a Real Techniques brush. So basically you start from the uh, top of your ears and start here and then just go down. Don't go too low either because that might look a little bit muddy. So is we're just gonna go up and down and also in swiping motions. Just make sure that you follow the same line. I'm also going to contour uh, the temples and they contour right here. See where the light hits my face? Just under there. I'm going to start from the hairline and bring it down. Like so. And then just work it in. So you have a contour going on here and then you bring it up back there. The remaining part you just work your way up in the hairline. I always apply my eye makeup first and then I put my concealer. The look is a little bit more sharp because um, you don't have fallout. You just want the tiniest little bit and just swipe it over your eyelid. I'm just using uh, Page Sage or Page Sage. I don't really know how you Last time I told you guys I smashed everything, this was the proof. I smashed my eyeshadow. It's smashed in half, that's so sad. It's really easy. You just put it all over and you drag it down. I'm going to use this brush from MAC 224. Concentrate the most on the upper part. So really don't be afraid to swipe this pretty much all over. You're just going to dip it back into the same product and just go underneath. You really want to um, put a lot of this underneath. You don't really need to worry about the under eye area. Put on the concealer and then we're going to uh, reapply. I have this white Anastasia pencil, but if you have NYX Milk pencil or any kind of white thick paste, I'm going to place it right under, like so. And I'm going to take those hairs underneath to really fake as if my eyebrows are really straight. I'm going to do the same on the other eye to blend it out with my Real Techniques blending brush or duo fiber brush and with light strokes because otherwise you're gonna ruin the rest of the eye makeup you just put on. Accentuate this with a white powder on top. I'm just using the Bobbi Brown one in Bone, this is number two, on a fluffy brush and just lightly go over that. I'm just going to take my Dior Amber Diamond, those two colors, 
and I'm just going to place this right here. Let's take a Q-tip and get rid of all the oils on your waterline. This will make it way more easy to put on an eye pencil. I'm just using my Chanel waterproof barrel color. Put this on your waterline. Today I'm just going to mix two Pro Longwear concealers, one in NW15 and the other one in the NW20. So you want to drag it up all the way back here, under your eyes. Watch out for the eyeshadow you put on. You're going to drag it all the way down to your nose and then you're going to bring it up in that triangle shape. And then here you're just going to bring it down out. Just press the product in very lightly. And on the forehead, they have this whole highlighted area. Then your Cupid's bow as well. You just want to take your brush and blend the concealer in with the eyeshadow. My powder Emphasize, which I bought thanks to you Jacqueline Hill. You're probably not watching my videos, but I bought this because she has the most amazing highlight um, going on on her face and she's an extremely talented makeup artist. If any one of you is also watching her, then you know what I mean. If not, then go check her out. So it's kind of like a white creamy um, powder and it has little little sparks but when you put it on your face it's just enough so that it highlights your under eye area but it does not look as if you put on glitter to highlight the same area that we highlighted before. And here you kind of want to make a round shape and you can see where the light stops and where the contour begins. Use concrete. This is a matte kind of concrete color. I'm going to use another art store brush, this one. I'm not using this one because this one picks up a little bit more product and I want it to be a more of a kind of shadow instead of a real eyeshadow look, if that makes sense. I'm going to concentrate on this part of your eyes. And then you want to go back in with that same kind of warm brown color. You can use this one or you can use texture. Um, I just wanted to use a cheaper version. So go over back and forth to use this trick as well to cover up any kind of wrinkles you have going on. Blend everything so that you have this really soft Burberry look. Take any kind of mascara. I'm just using my Yves Saint Laurent very light coat on the top. I'm just going to powder my face very quickly with my Max Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium. Uh, just a big powder brush from Real Techniques. And cozy Up, which is kind of like a orangey matte nude color. I'm going to put Premiere on. This is from Lorac. I'm going to put this pencil over on top, uh, which will darken the looks. So just start from the outer corners. I want to mattify the look because the look is really matte on the picture. So I'm just taking the same powder for my face and the same brush but on the other side and dipping it in and just going to lightly go over my lip to take my highlight, whatever highlight you want. I'm just using the Max Nude on board by the Temperature Rising Collection and I'm going to pinch my brush first just follow that line and then I'm really gonna take that brush and just go underneath that highlighted area until about here and then they also take it again on that little area right there
I'm just going to highlight and she is really highlighted on this area in the middle of her forehead and right there. I see sparkles everywhere right now. She really has this kind of round highlighted areas underneath her eyes. So that's the finished look. Bye! Mwah.